three very impressive AI tools from Google AI that are currently completely free. They can do amazing things and you definitely shouldn't miss out on them. By the end of this video, you will know all three of them, understand how they work and what you can do and create these AI tools. Then I will look forward to seeing what you can actually do with them. Let me know in the comments. Let's get started. This is Tomasz Czarnowski from Tomas AI channel. Our marketing agency has generated over 50 million US dollars in revenue for the clients over the past 11 years. And AI now helps us achieve even better results with these online marketing campaigns for our clients. My challenge for you is really simple. Watch these videos for 120 days, take notes and test everything. By the end of 2025, you will use AI better than 99% of people and businesses. And that's my mission, guys. So let's go, let's go. Let's go for the first one. The first tool uh, I bet you know uh, is Google Flow, uh, which actually got update uh, with VO 3.1. Uh, and actually it is now for free, which is crazy. So once you go to labs, Google uh, Flow, I will put, these, uh, put this link in the description so you won't miss it. Uh, you can actually create uh, with Flow. So you click there. Once you are inside, uh, it looks like this, you create new project. And once you are in a new project, it looks like this. Uh, you, you won't have these uh, rec videos there because you will start with a new project, but I already did those. And you will basically see this uh, chat bar where you can actually go with the text to video prompt, which is something that you know is most common most people use these uh, type of videos that they do, they do just the text prompts. Then uh, they will use the expand button here. So basically, uh, Flow will expand and enhance your prompts with cinematic presets, film noir presets, or action figure presets. Or you can basically create your own new expander presets. Uh, presets. So definitely... Uh, definitely very useful, but what we are trying or what I will try to show you uh, today is use frames to video and ingredients to video because these are, are uh, more rare and uh, I think that they are actually maybe the better ones uh, or the better better ways how to create video with VO 3.1. So once we go with ingredients to video, in ingredients to video you can't use, it's basically uh, disapproved. You can't use the VO 3.1 quality. You can only use VO 3.1 fast. And uh, you can choose landscape or portrait. I did uh, landscape 16 to 9, uh, one output per video. And what it basically does, uh, you put there three different images. You can put there your own images or, you know, some images you can download. Or you can actually generate image. It's not uh, possible to generate image with uh, Nano Banana here, but you can actually, uh, you know, generate it in Nano Banana and then put it here. But uh, they offer here only Gym Imagine 4. So uh, right now, just uh, Imagine 4, I don't know how good it actually is, but I believe that uh, Nano Banana is much, much more better. So uh, I don't have recent uh, experience with uh, Imagine number 4. So... Uh, you actually are here, you put there your three images. I did uh, one of these, which is me, one of these, which is Coca-Cola, uh, and cans of Coca-Cola, and which is, one is this, uh, and it's a Grand Canyon in uh, USA. So, and I put this here, and the prompt was, this man is drinking Coca-Cola in the Grand Canyon after a hike. And this man is obviously me, guys. So... Uh, I will I will play it out for you so you know how it actually feels. I think it's really decent because this really looks like me from the photo, you know, the figure, you know, the movement, watches, uh, glasses, you know, the beard, uh, my haircut, uh, white t-shirt. I think it looks like me, actually. The Grand Canyon is great, you know, it actually can position me in the in the photo really great. And the Coke is also awesome. Uh, the only thing is that the clicking on the... the tss, 
the it's it's a really uh, weird, right? Because I can't see that uh, I'm literally opening the can, so I don't see it. So <clears throat> this one is it's not yet there, but uh, after all, all of the others are like pretty amazing. So definitely, guys. I would highly appreciate if you could uh, give this video a like, give this channel a subscribe and also hit the bell icon. It would mean the world to me, you know, putting a lot of energy to these videos. Already on 39 videos, this one is 40th and I will be literally posting till the end of this year every single day about AI news, AI tools, AI prompts, AI updates, AI everything. So definitely if you are interested in AI, this is the channel that you should actually follow and subscribe and like these videos because this will be uh, one of the biggest AI channels in, in the world. Uh, trust me on this. So uh, this one is ingredients to video. And the second one that I tried is frames to video where you actually can use uh, VO 3.1 quality, which is great. And this is basically that you put there, you know, a starting prompt, uh, sorry, a starting um, a frame and the end frame. So. I already used the, the first frame was this uh, photo of Grand Canyon and the second one was Grand Canyon with uh, sunset. So basically the prompt was Grand Canyon time lapse from day to a sunset. So let's go, let's dive into it. So again, it's only eight second, on the end eight second video, but you actually, I am really stunned, you know, by the quality. Obviously, it's it's a photo, and they basically add some movement in the photo, but you know, it really feels natural. The 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 light light with uh, from from the sun, and the sun goes you know around and it goes down, and there we have the sunset. So it's a time lapse, great one for you know if you are doing some videos for YouTube or intro, outro, or you know some B-roll type uh, type of stuff. You can definitely use lots of these variations, and also you can do scene. So uh, I already put those in the scene builder, but if you if you haven't done this before, you can basically uh, here the button will basically say add to the scene, and you click on it. And you will end up here in the scene builder where uh, here, here you have the timeline of the video and you can actually add, you know, scenes behind scenes. So you can actually create a video that's not only eight seconds long, but much longer. So you can basically put one scene, second, third, fourth, you know, and you can actually create, you know, a 30 second, 40 second, 60 second video, maybe 90 second video even. So it's a really good one. It's a really good uh, thing that previously with the VO3.0 or 3, it was just 3, uh, wasn't, wasn't available. But right now this one is really, really dope. Second, uh, second tool that I'm really pumped and I am highly and the big advocate of this tool is Google AI Studio, which is actually again free. And in Google AI Studio, uh, you can use lots of tools from Google. You can use Nano Banana, you can use uh, native speech, you can want to click in the chat, you can use Gemini 2.5 Pro, Gemini Flash Latest, you can do live, you can do different images, Image in 4, Nano Banana, Image in 4 Ultra, you can do video, VO2 only, so it's not a good uh, way to use VO, the newest VO models, etc., etc. So there's a plenty of things, but once you click on the build, they actually rebuild, rebuild this um, this section of um, uh, Google AI Studio, and you can here basically create your apps with model uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro and 2.5 Flash. Uh, system instruction template could be React or Angular. Uh, you can put there your microphone, for example, if you want. Uh, you can speech to text, you can add files, you can just click on I'm feeling lucky and it will create some app, some random app for you, which is crazy. Or you can actually use these ones that are pre-built. So for example, I use the video understanding one. So once you put there the video understanding, there you describe your idea, idea and you basically click build and it will build it for you. So my idea was, I want to create an app where users can upload an Instagram Reels and get a feedback on how to improve their Reels and content. 
the feedback should be focused around hooks, themes of the video, pacing and audience retention. So basically it, it took 94 seconds to create this app. And the app basically uh, works like this. You put there, you upload there your reel, which is actually my reel. Uh, and this reel speaks about the newest Meta Ray-Ban glasses for 300 bucks. And here you go. It will give you feedback on your hook, theme and clarity, pacing and flow and audience retention. So for example, it's a really good feedback. The hook is, uh, the hook builds suspense with a pixelated images. And the question is, yet toho začátek. Is this a beginning? Because the video is in Czech, so I will be translating, translating it to you. Is this the beginning? Followed by Meta Nedavno, Meta Recently and Trista Dolaru. $300. To make it even stronger, consider starting with a more direct visual of the glasses or a key feature paired with a bold attention-grabbing statement like Meta's new AI glasses. The future is here for $300. To immediately state the value proposition or create strong curiosity. Theme and clarity. The central theme is a clear and consistent introduction to Meta's new AI glasses, showcasing their advanced features such as AR navigation, messaging, music control, and touches in touchless interaction. The video effectively communicates the capabilities of this new technology. Pacing and flow. The pacing is well suited for a short form short form video utilizing a dynamic split screen format with rapid cuts uh, between the speaker and production demonstration about the frequent text overlays aligned with the spoken words maintaining a fast rhythm and high energy level throughout the explanation of features audience retention another one so it will give you basically analysis and feedback for your video so you can actually use these you can you can uh, share app you can deploy the app you can save to github you can download the app you can copy app you can uh, here reload the app, you can select device preview, you can full screen, you can look at the code uh, preview, you can re uh, you can rename the app, you can also ask for some AI features, etc., etc. And, you know, the Google Gemini 2.5 Pro will, will build it for you. So it's like a vibe coding on steroids from my standpoint. So it's like really crazy. And guys, again, I will be really pleased and highly appreciate if you can like this video. So thank you very much. And after this tool, there is a one more, one that you, that you actually can't use in Europe. So I need to use a VPN to actually use this tool. But if you are in a USA and I think Canada, you should be able to use it without VPN and maybe other parts of the world, but you know, I don't remember those. So you go to Google apps and you click on Mixboard. Try it now. And then you are in the Mixboard. You click on get started. And once you click on get started, so give me... Give me a second, I will re refresh these. Okay. Is it refreshing or not? Okay, get started. Awesome. So once you click on get started, there are a couple of things uh, and maybe you already created some or uh, the pre-built ones, but I did uh, click, uh, click on a new project. Once you click on a new project, you can plan a party, imagine new ideas, uh, ideas make something fun. You can click whatever you want. I did not click on anything, but I put there a prompt that I would like to have 2030 Skoda Octavia, because uh, from Czech Republic, there is a Skoda factory here, uh, and actually in the city that I was born in Mlada Boleslav. So there is a Skoda factory and the company is Skoda Automotive. It's uh, under the Volkswagen group. And uh, basically they create, you know, this Kodiak, Octavia, Fabia, Superb, uh, a lot of these uh, really great cars. So highly, highly appreciate uh, that this is a huge company and, you know, it's a, we are really proud of it. 120, 130 years, uh, I believe they are on the market. And they, they do create really great uh, cars, uh, good quality for, for the price, for the money. And actually, I would like to be a designer there. So uh, kidding, you know, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> but actually, my father works there. So interesting. Uh, but I don't want to be a designer. I am not a designer. But for example, with the mix board, I try to be uh, slightly a designer. So what I did is that I put there, show me a futuristic 2030 Skoda Octavia with uh, more modern, if I am not mistaken, with modern uh, 
so it's not there. The prompt is not there, uh, so it, it disappeared. So with the modern and more futuristic, uh, you know, uh, uh, look or whatever it was. So there you can see that this actually created the mood board of different, you know, photos that how it actually can, uh, how it actually can look, uh, you know, the future Skoda Octavia, for example. So really great if you are, you know, running some mood boards for your clients, if you're creating some, you know, mood board for a, for a campaign or for a website or for an e-commerce store that you are creating for them or for some social media posts, social media content. Or if you are planning some party, if you are planning something, you know, you, that you would like to rebuild your uh, living room or your house or your, you know, flat or, you know, do something that's, you know, you know, need some imagination, you know, some brainstorming around it. And I really like those because um, once you see it and you say, oh, this one, this one looks really decent, then you can actually click here and regenerate image or you can more like this. Or you can click on remove background or you can click duplicate block or download the image. So I will basically remove the background and, uh, okay, so error updating blocks. Okay, so this was not work. So I will do the refresh. Maybe the refresh is the problem. So futuristic Skoda. Couldn't, could not load project. Okay, so that's the problem most likely. Uh, so I will create a new one, create a futuristic Skoda Octavia from 2030, more modern and futuristic look. So let's build it. It, it's actually pretty quick, so uh, it, will, it will be really fast. But meanwhile, you can actually, uh, if you did the like, uh, if, you, if you haven't done it yet, then definitely click on the like button, but also you can click on the subscribe button. I would highly appreciate it and maybe appreciate it even more. <laughs> so thank you very much. So here we go. So this is, uh, ah, this is not that futuristic as the one before. Uh, maybe the prompt was different, but you know, this actually looks like actual Skoda Octavia. This one is, you know, futuristic. This one is obviously futuristic too. But this one is slightly futuristic too. But these looks are, they actually look like the actual Skoda Octavia we, we have right now here. So I will maybe click on this one and I will put the, uh, I will click on the remove background. So let's see. Ah, oh, it's actually not working. Error uh, updating blocks. So Obviously, it's in development, it's experimental, but if I click on more like this, this one actually worked before, so, so let me see, let me see. Okay, so this is working, so this one is working, and you can see some futuristic, uh, can then, uh, sorry, you can then upscale it like, like this. Resize it. Okay, so pretty decent. So I really like this tool actually. I think it's a really great for you know uh, bringing some ideas, uh, brainstorming, and doing all that stuff. So uh, if you would like to do something like that, definitely put it there. You can click on share button here uh, at the top right hand corner, and you can you know share it uh, with our uh, colleagues here in the comments. I would be really uh, curious what uh, you actually built and uh, definitely don't don't uh, don't be afraid to share anything uh, I highly encourage you to try it and you know share it whatever so guys that's it uh, again I will mention just uh, if you are really pleased with those videos and you like these videos definitely don't forget to click on the uh, like button then on the subscribe button then on the bell icon it would mean the world to me and I would highly appreciate it don't forget that you can uh, also um, support this channel by commenting in the in the comment section I would be pleased there if there uh, if we can have some conversations there, so definitely use it. Uh, don't forget to click on this video, it's a really good one, uh, so definitely give it a try, it's a really great AI, AI video about uh, AI news, so uh, hit it and watch it, and let me know in the comments what you think about it, and that's it basically for today, so I will see you guys tomorrow with the next one. Cheers!